Hello everyone. It's a pleasure to have Salim Bori with us today, Vice President and General Manager, Middle East, North Africa and Asia Pacific region for secure land communication at Airbus. Welcome. We welcome you to ADU and uh, at the backdrop of IDEX 2021. Thank you so much. So Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure for us. So Sir, Airbus is so synonymous to aircraft for, the, for our audience, for general public. So can you please explain what it does in safety security industry, what Airbus is doing exactly in safety security industry? In brief, what is Airbus SLC? Yes, um, sure. So uh, Airbus SLC, uh, Secure Land Communication, is a program unit of Airbus Defense and Space focusing on providing safety and critical communication systems mm -hmm. for industries, public safety, uh, first line responders, military and security services, but also transportations and critical business uh, services. So we are uh, part of the big Airbus family, specifically under Airbus Defense and Space. And as I said before, we are really focusing on everything that is related to what we call shared intelligence, which is voice communication, critical voice communications, but also multimedia data messaging on a secured way. Our mm -hmm. partners or customers are all the company or the organizations, public or private, that need critical safety, secured communication solution, being voice, data, messaging, intelligence, multimedia applications. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this so to solution... give you an example, we are yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, please. Continue. No, no, go ahead. Uh, I wanted to know. So, this so solution. To give you an example. Mm -hmm. We provide the systems for uh, for the police for their uh, operation communication. We provide it also for security uh, and military services, mm -hmm. but also for healthcare organizations. We keep ambulance. We may keep hospitals and doctors to allow them to communicate and exchange data in a regular and secured way. We equip also a communication system for transportations. We are present in many countries, being India, UAE, or China on the metro systems, for example. Uh, we equip also uh, corporations, uh, oil and gas companies, energy companies, to allow them to exchange all their information, voice or data on a secured way. And especially during the pandemic, it made it very clear to everyone that actually we depend much more than what we thought yeah. from exchanging information, communications. And if you want to do that on a secured way to avoid interference, to avoid hacking, to avoid attacks, or to make sure it is the highest level of availability, then this is exactly where Airbus SLC is present. Great. So you mean to say it's your clientele is not only defense sector, military sector, it has a vast range of homeland security as well as civil sectors. Absolutely, absolutely. We, we, we have different category of solutions. We have dedicated complex network solution that we usually are dedicated to one agency or one organization. And here we deal with a major national organization being the Ministry of Interiors, Ministry of Defense or Security Services. But we have also other set of solutions that are more dedicated to, to uh, supporting an airport, supporting a metro line, supporting a tramway line, supporting a specific industry, mm -hmm. uh, oil and gas, healthcare, but also a critical industry such as banking or any organization that actually needs a very dedicated and critical network. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do that either through dedicated solution and network, but we can also do that in partnership with uh, mobile operators and offer a solution as a, as a service. Mm -hmm. So it's not anymore a network you're going to be getting, but it's going to be a subscription of a secure virtual service that we can provide to a mobile operator uh, or a partner, and that will allow you to have a secured messaging in your smartphone and you have one portion of a virtual network embedded in your smartphone with the level of security that is much higher than what you can find in, uh, I would say, in the standard market. 
Great. So uh, since we are at the backdrop of IDEX, which is a completely defense exhibition, I would like to stress more on Airbus mission for critical solutions for defense and security forces. So these yes. solutions, are these solutions getting manufactured in the ME region or they are being imported from France? So we have different way uh, of providing our solutions. Uh, you have some major hardware components that are produced uh, within uh, or uh, factories and organizations. So they can be manufactured either in, in Europe, mainly in France or Finland or other places. Uh, and we have also software components. And the software components, it's very important to uh, make sure we are as adapted as possible to the market that we serve. So here the approach is to go through uh, basic building blocks that are produced by us and integrate them with a specific localized additional applications. Mm -hmm. And here the target is really to work with uh, partners in UAE or in other countries where we are present and try to customize our solution by integrated into or with local applications, uh, integrated with a local specific uh, applications or tools that are actually either specific to one country or to an agency. And we're gonna build something that will be hybrid. One piece will come from us, one piece will come from the partner in the country and we'll integrate together and make sure the end-to-end -end level of security is guaranteed by others. Another thing we do is with some specific partners and advanced markets, we can also co-design a product together. And specifically when we talk about UAE or Abu Dhabi, we have worked hand in hand with a, a partner here in, uh, in Abu Dhabi, uh, Atlas mm -hmm. Telecom, and with uh, different uh, governmental agency here in Abu Dhabi to design a build a product that is called Dabat, which is actually a hybrid terminal that will be on the same time a secured terminal, Tetra, and on the other side, a smartphone. And it will allow you using the same terminal to connect both to a security network Mm -hmm. and to a public network and provide a higher level of coverage. And this is something that we designed in collaboration with UAE. And even though we produce that somewhere else, but the product is really designed here. And okay. then it was so well perceived by the market that we are also selling it worldwide. So okay. That's we, great. we can also do this kind of local partnership that become global solutions. So have you done anything like this with India? I mean, any uh, this kind of local partnerships with the Indian companies yet? So we are starting. We are starting. We are starting to be uh, very active with India. We are very happy to have received the first orders in India. Mm -hmm. We've been present in the past in India for, uh, uh, for secure land communication, supporting uh, some metro projects mm -hmm. and also uh, some uh, official buildings uh, solution projects. And now we are extremely happy. We started with a partner and with an operator that I cannot name yet okay. uh, to adapt the solution. And hopefully uh, within the next couple of weeks, you will be able to see a very nice customized solution for the Indian market. Yeah. So is it the same way that you talked about Abu Dhabi uh, product that it has been conceptualized and designed here uh, and then it is uh, going out? No, it's... It is on a, for this specific project, it will be, as I was saying in the, in the beginning, which is a building block, a software building block solution coming from us mm -hmm. that will be in, in association with an Indian uh, partner and an Indian operator mm -hmm. will customize and complement with applications that are specific to the Indian market. So we'll put the two together and that will create a uniquely customized solution for India. Great. So we covered a little bit of the international market with the discussions that you told me. So let's uh, move on to the untapped markets of Asia, Asia Pacific and Africa, since that, that is your region. So what, what are you doing or what are you planning for the future to, un, uh, to tap those untapped markets for Airbus SLC? We actually are extremely, uh, are very, very present in, uh, in Asia. We are uh, present in China since very long time, and we are extremely proud to be uh, one of the main supplier of uh, Chinese metros when it comes mm -hmm. to critical communication. Okay. But we work also. We have a very strong presence in uh, in Beijing for the Beijing government and Guangzhou 
mm -hmm. uh, critical solution where we have been supplying the, a large part of the critical network since, since decades. Mm -hmm. So we are present there. What we are looking for now globally in China, we are present in Hong Kong also, where we have been working with the different agencies there, uh, fire department, police, and other organizations since very long time. Uh, what we are looking for now is introduce this new uh, hybrid solution mm -hmm. uh, to the rest of Asia. So uh, to new countries like Singapore, but also Oceania, Australia, and New Zealand are some areas where we are willing to push these new solutions mm -hmm. uh, and working also in other categories. So uh, I'm very proud to have quite a solid team based in, in Asia, in, uh, in China, in Hong Kong, in Singapore. And we are going to we have some very, very strategic projects that we are pushing hopefully uh, for this year. And I hope to be able to give you more uh, good news in the, in the, in the future. Mm -hmm. But we are present there. Of course, we want to do more. Uh, we want to do more. We want to cover many other countries uh, in Southeast Asia where are not present. Uh, we are very present in Korea where we are supplying our solution for the energy companies there. Uh, it's been actually one of the first uh, to use a very, uh, very, very innovative solution to monitor the, mm -hmm. the distribution of the energy. This is something that we actually invented a little bit, uh, the same model we discussed for EAE. This is something, a product we invented together with uh, Kitco, the mm -hmm. energy suppliers in, in, Korea, in Korea, and that we are actually trying to export. So uh, we are willing to, uh, to push for this model in many countries. Every, in every country, when there is a need and there is a will, and when we can identify some solid partners, mm -hmm. uh, many in Asia, India definitely is one of them, and we are working on finalizing this right now. Africa is definitely uh, an area where we are not as present as we want as of today. Okay. So Africa is today all untapped territory. There are huge requirements. Yeah. Uh, also major challenge. So Africa is something where we are now looking at. And trying and it's a very potential market. Absolutely, it's a it's a it's a it's a quite challenging market. Yeah. The needs are there. Exactly. Africa is a very interesting area because this is an area where, uh, as much as the technology itself is not that developed, but the the innovation is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that uh, technology is not as rolled out, people don't think about what they can do with what they have, but about they are much more open. And they, they come up with sometimes amazing ideas. So the challenge for us here will be to be uh, present enough and strong enough to support this innovative generation we have in Africa today and try to, uh, to go hand in hand with them and, and support them by, uh, by designing together and deploying this kind of solutions on the best way for Africa. And I'm really... Uh, I'm really full of hope for, for that continent and for what we'll be able to do, uh, to do together. So if you can uh, discuss with us, what exactly is the roadmap that you are planning for Africa? Since you said you are very hopeful that things will be getting yeah. good for uh, African continent. So uh, what is Airbus SLC's roadmap for that? So we, we have now, uh, we started and we have now a dedicated the sales team uh, in, uh, in North Africa and in the rest of Africa, we are discussing with a number of partners. Mm -hmm. We are discussing in new countries to identify new partners because the, 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 the idea is not just to go as us, uh, Secure Land Communication, and say, okay, we're going to do everything by yourself. No, it's to uh, find either find local partners or potentially support the creation of local entities that will be here not only to implement the solution, but to support it for the next 20 years and be hand in hand with the local customers and the local partners. So part of our strategy is to uh, identify these organizations or potentially support the creation of these organizations, uh, train them, do a know-how transfer, but also listen to them because the functionality that we may have today may not be fully adapted to the needs. Yeah. So we'll have also to listen to the market and and potentially modify, customize your product to make it fit. And this is where we are today. We are really at the first stage. In some countries, we are much more advanced. We have already customers in, in countries like South Africa, mm -hmm. uh, in some countries in the north, but in others, we don't. So we are really on evaluating this market and discussing with the potential partners and end users, being governmental agency or private agency, 
to see what will be the best way to serve us. As Airbus Group, we are present in Africa since more than 40 years. We have about 3,000 people uh, between Middle East and Africa, almost 2,000 people in Africa. So there is an historical presence of Airbus as a group. And Airbus Secure Land Communication, we are now trying to build on that and, and, and work with our colleagues from other divisions and see how we can complement them in that very innovative continent. Great. So let's come to a very general question now. How COVID has affected the Airbus SLC business last year? Uh, it affected us uh, quite heavily as it affected every other corporation mm -hmm. or entity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are, we have, uh, we are colleagues, have families, everyone have a life. So everyone has been impacted. Uh, business has been definitely impacted. What we focused on last year was not as much as uh, going behind new business, we really focused on supporting our customers as much as we can, because our customers are actually the frontliners. Right. They are the police officers, they are the emergency services, they are the doctors, they are the security services, they are the airport operations. So we really focused on supporting them as much as we can, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, these people were the ones protecting us on a daily basis. So we try to contribute as much as we could to their, uh, to their daily fight. By, pro by providing them and supporting them with the secured and highly uh, available critical communication systems. Uh, that was our priority. Uh, obviously, some areas of our business have been impacted. I mean, obviously, the aviation industry have been highly impacted. Yes. So the solution supporting the aviation's operation was definitely not running at the way it should. But on the other side, the solution supporting, as I told you, the first line responders, emergency services have been extremely uh, demanding in terms of capacity and usage. And we really tried to do, and I'm very happy about what the team managed to do mm -hmm. by making sure that our systems were here to support these people on their daily work. And uh, we've been quite happy and quite successful on doing that. So it was a very tough year, but uh, our system demonstrated that they worked very well. And we were extremely proud of supporting the people that were protecting us at the end of the day. So coming to IDEX is a way to boost this business back to back on the track, isn't it? Well, about the IDEX now. now well, IDEX is, is mm -hmm. nice, yeah. Yeah. Air shows in these kind of times can be very low, both on visibility as well as marketing. We can, I mean, we can all understand. Nobody thought that uh, an interview like this can happen during the last IDEX that we will be doing, most of us will be doing online interviews and uh, doing online marketing strategies, things like this. So uh, this affects eventually on sales as well, the low visibility as well as... Uh... The, we are in a particular business, so it's, uh, we are not really a business to consumer, we are really business to business or business to government. Mm -hmm. So the, the level of marketing activity and visibility is different. It's not really about volume. It's really about quality. Mm -hmm. But uh, IDEX is very important for many reasons. First, and maybe the most important, is really sending the message that now it's time to get back to life. Yes. So uh, it might not be as busy as it was, but just for having it, it's such an amazing message for everyone. Yeah. Uh, we are still having quite a very... Uh, a quite solid attendance and it was uh, surprising but also extremely uh it's really a message of hope to, not only to this industry but to the whole industry around is okay let's start and do business again of course there are social distancing measures there are special health measures but we, we 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 have to go back to the life on a safe way uh on a different way obviously we have to adapt it was very important for us as slc uh, to be present because uh, this is our business communication, secured communication, but also uh, critical communication and also supporting this kind of events to make it as safe as possible uh, to allow. And uh, I'm very proud when I walk around here and see that uh, the, 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 the security and the organization team using, they are using our terminals. They are using Airbus secure land communication terminals on handset. So it's very, it's very good also for the team here to get the feeling that we are also contributing yeah. to the life, trying to get back a little bit more to normal. Right. It's never what going to be what it was in the past, but we're going to get there step by step. And it was important for us to not only to, uh, to be present in the event, uh, to showcase 
practices or solutions or new solutions that are adapted also to this new life, but also to be also behind the scene and, and support the people that are organizing, running and protecting this event. So we are very, very happy to be here yeah, and to see as many people as, as they are today here and, and, and have this sentiment of uh, trying to get back to, uh, to what life should be. Right. It's, it, it was great speaking to such a hopeful person like you. It was really great to know your views. Um, I got to know a lot of things about Airbus SLC and I'm sure my viewers will be delighted to hear you back on the website. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. We really wish you a Thank great you. show for next few days coming. I hope things will improve more. People will come more. Though I'm be, I'll be Thank missing you so much still. Thank you so much. Thank, for you. thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.